Hey, in this video I'm going to show you how I use the Luminance Brush Pack and Affinity Photo for iPad. Okay, let's get started. Let's start by opening up an image. Let's open up the image of the dancer here. Add a new pixel layer, and then I want to set the blend mode of that pixel layer to add or addition. The reason I work on a separate pixel layer is it gives me greater flexibility. It means that I can change the blend mode, the opacity, or the size at any point during the uh, design process. Okay, let's choose a brush and uh, let's uh, choose light speed. Um, and let's increase the size of, of that brush. Um, incidentally, the size will change depending on the pressure that um, you're applying with pencil. Also, on this brush in particular, the hue will change um, on tilt. Um, so if we, if we start working, you'll see you'll see this in uh, in action. So if I've got my brush upright, you'll see that the color is a um, is more of a red. And then if I tilt this over, we're going to add more of the bright yellow glow um, coming into the light there. And more at the top here. Um, again, working the same way. Let's uh, keep the brush upright and get that nice heavy red glow. And then let's accentuate that with by tilting the brush and uh, applying the yellow. Then we can add further lines to the contours of the body. We want to add a little bit of movement here to this foot. So let's just tilt the brush slightly and then edge it with the red um, down at the bottom there. Okay, next let's select the Mirage brush. So we'll go to brushes again and select Mirage. I'm going to lighten the colour for this one. Um, and I'm also going to increase the size. And you'll notice as I work with this brush, I'm going to be uh, tilting the pencil all over the place. I'm just trying to add a little bit of moving light over the top of my image. Now I'm going to change the colour of my brush, make it a bit more of a red and continue adding the light. Right now let's choose a blue for this brush. Um, same brush, just going to change the colour slightly. Um, I'm going to increase the flow of the brush as well. So let's just take that to about 30% and then let's start working in some of this movement from the uh, trainer, the arm and the hat. Let's just get some movement in there and on the leg. So one final step for this piece, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new layer and I'm going to set the blend mode to this layer to overlay. And we're going to really accentuate the light that we've already added to the image. Now let's choose a new brush, uh, let's choose the metallic spray brush and I'm going to change the colour of this brush and so about there for a nice bright yellow and I'm going to increase the uh, pixel size of this brush as well, let's uh, go right up on this uh, again it will work with pressure um, and then don't forget I'm now working on that new layer that we've added which has got the overlay blend mode and I'm just going to work in the really light areas here to add a little bit of sparkle to the image. As you can see that's increasing the intensity of the light. And come off the leg there. Just work around all the uh, lightest parts of the image. Okay, we've explored a few of the uh, kind of light streak brushes. Um, now I wanted to move on and show you how to use the fire brushes. Right, let's open the image of this uh, guy in a cloak sat by the fire and he's obviously got no flames. So uh, 
let's open the brushes and go to luminance brush and select the flame brush. Um, with the flame brush selected, let's select like a, a bit of a ready orange colour, that's perfect. And I'm going to increase the size of my brush there as well. Um, and then I'm just going to start working and showing you how I create the flames. Incidentally, before we start, I have actually got a pixel layer already on this document with a add blend mode already applied. Um, so let's start working away. Just varying the pressure and the uh, tilt and angle of the pencil as we work. It's really I think those flames have gone off to the uh, side a little bit too far there. Let's bring those, get rid of those. There we go. There we go, quite a natural looking flame. So that was the flame brush. Um, obviously I could use, take a little bit longer and use uh, different colours and different tones through that to make it look more realistic. Um, but next I want to move on and show you how I use the fireball brush. Okay, let's go ahead and close this one down and open up this image of a gladiator. This also has a pixel layer with an add blend mode already applied. And then let's open up our brushes and go to the luminance fireball brush. Got the fireball brush now. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start working away on this sword. And you can watch my process. So what I'm doing now is I'm keeping the pencil upright. And applying quite firm pressure to give my flames a kind of outer glow. And you'll see in a moment what I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt the pencil over, which is going to increase the accumulation and also change the hue. It's going to really brighten this up. So I'm going to go a little bit softer with the pressure, tilt it over just to give me that central uh, vibrance to the flame. Stop there. Don't want to burn his hand. There we go. Okay, well, I think that concludes what I wanted to show you. If you've not got the luminance brush pack yet, then go grab it from affinity.serif.com.